Hi everyone! Not many introductional words today because we are going to do something rather weird. So let's just start with the usual stuff. Welcome to another episode of Learn German with Speedy Kong Kiwi. My name is Kiwi and I'm going to be your host for today. Roll the music! <laughs> You have been asking me about the German articles der, die, and das, which is all just a way to say the, T-H-E, the, der, die, das. The thing is that every German noun has its own gender, which is masculine, feminine, and neuter. That is also reflected in the way that you use the article, so you can't only always use one and the same article as you do in English. Understanding how the different genders work for nouns is really difficult, I think, for someone who does not speak a language that has different genders for their nouns. So to be perfectly honest with you, I can't explain how the genders work. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as a formula that you can use to know what noun has what gender. But what I can do is give you some advice on how it should work, or how it's at least going to be a bit easier to learn the different genders for each noun. For instance, if you look at people, it's really easy to get which genders they have, because you will not say that the woman is a masculine word. Therefore, Frau, the German word for woman, would have the article die, die Frau. It's a feminine word, so therefore die Frau. Die Frau. The man or man, of course, is a masculine word. Therefore, it wouldn't have the article die, but der. Der Mann. Der Mann. Der Mann. The man. <laughs> the word the child, though, can be both genders because the child is not specific for any gender. Therefore, in German, it's neuter. So you use the neuter article, which is das, das Kind, das Kind. So you have der Mann, die Frau, das Kind. What's probably not so easy to understand is that inanimate objects also have their own gender. For example, the knife, the spoon, the fork. And now you'll see what I meant with I cannot explain to you how it works. The spoon, for some reason, is masculine and it's Der Löffel, der Löffel, der Löffel. The fork is feminine and it's called die Gabel, die Gabel, die Gabel. The knife, however, is neuter and you would say das Messer, das Messer, das Messer. So you'd have der Löffel, die Gabel, das Messer. So here's my advice, and I actually talked to someone about this in one of my blog TV shows, and he's a German teacher in America, so I think he knows what he's talking about. So what always helped me when I was in school and I was studying Latin for six years, and their grammar is a lot more complicated and complex than the German grammar is, but if you don't only really learn a word as it is in a dictionary, but also maybe learn the gender to it, or the second case, which was a really good thing in Latin because they don't have articles. But in German you could learn the article and the word itself basically as one word together. So you wouldn't learn Löffel for spoon, but you could learn der Löffel for the spoon. You know what I mean? Just don't see it as two different things, the article and the word itself, but put it together, see it as one thing because it belongs together. What's also going to be really complicated for you is dealing with the different cases in German grammar. And um, I've been thinking about this a lot and I think the only way that I can explain this a bit maybe, because it's going to be really, really difficult to explain, um, is making four videos, one for each case, and I'm going to do that soon. So, if you want to know more about that, stay tuned. <laughs> and, um, well, I hope this helped you a bit. I know it's really weird and, and tough to explain, but I tried my best. And seriously, try to learn it as one thing, one thing. Der Löffel die Gabel das Messer. The article and the word. Don't pay attention to that. Learn it as one thing, because that's the only way this is going to work for you. Also, I'm sure that after you've learned a few nouns with that method, 
you kind of get a feeling for what gender a noun might have, even if it's an inanimate object. So I really hope this was helpful. I know it's a really weird subject to talk about, but I tried anyway. So if you have a question about all this or about anything else, please leave a comment below. I'm going to try my best to answer as many as I can. Also, I know that there are a lot of other German-speaking people who watch my videos, and I know that they like to answer those comments as well sometimes. So maybe they can even explain it better to you as I can right now. Speaking of comments, I just wanted to say thank you all so much. It's the end of the year now, and it kind of makes me think about the past year on YouTube, and every time I just think about it, it's really overwhelming because this has been an awesome year on YouTube, and as cheesy as it is, I know, that's because of you guys. I really appreciate all the feedback that I get, and I I don't know, I could like say that in every video, but that would be boring, so I like never say it at all, but I really appreciate it. And you guys watching, it means a lot to me. Also, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me. I know it sounds so lame, I'm sorry, but I just, I had to get it out sometime. And this time is now, so... Um, yeah, thank you so much for subscribing, everyone. I really, really, really do appreciate it, and I can't even tell you how much. So, I hope you all are having a wonderful New Year's Eve, and a great start into the new year, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>